Welcome to our first quarter 2018 investment update. The first quarter of 2018 can be summed up with prolonged cold weather and increased market volatility. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 3.4% on February 6, then two days later up 4.2% in a single trading day. Volatility was largely attributed to inflation fears and potential trade wars. For the quarter, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped 1.96% and the S&P 500 dropped 0.76%. Bond investors also lost 1.46% as measured by the Bloomberg Barclays Aggregate Bond Index. As rates rise, the price of bonds will act inversely by dropping in price. For the quarter, the 10-year Treasury bond rate increased by 0.28%. In our quarterly investment committee meeting, we dissected our client portfolios and decided to make changes. The first change we're going to make is we see an opportunity to reduce our allocation to domestic stocks and increase our exposure to international stocks for three reasons. Number one, valuations. As measured by the price to earnings ratio, stocks are more attractive outside of the U.S. Number two, Currency exchange. If the dollar continues to soften like it has started to do in the last 12 months, we should see an increase in international stock returns. Number three, historical performance. The U.S. stock market, as measured by the S&P 500 index, has outperformed the international stock market, as measured by the MSCI EFA index, for seven out of the last 10 years. In markets, returns generally revert back to the mean, something we anticipate to happen in the coming years. The second change we're going to make is we will be reducing our active management solution in the large cap U.S. stock space with a passive approach for two reasons. Number one, according to Standard Poor's, their research shows that over 90% of active managers in the large cap U.S. space underperformed the S&P 500 index for the last 15 years. The second reason would be including an exchange-traded fund that mimics an, an index is inexpensive and will help reduce our client's investment cost. For most of our clients, we have discretion over your accounts. We will be implementing these changes for you immediately. If we do not have discretion over your accounts, we will be reaching out to discuss and see if you would like to implement. As always, please do not hesitate to reach out to our office with any questions. Thank you.